Hey friends, this is Bo. Good to see you again. I wanted to put a quick little video together on distressed inks in case you don't know much about them. They're not exactly ink pads that uh, that are solid in color. They're distressed. They have a lighter look to them, but they're they're beautiful and they're beautiful accents. But it's it's like a money pit. You don't know what to buy, where to start, and you could buy endlessly. So I was thinking, uh, instead of if I were starting out, instead of buying these these big pads, which are very nice, um, I think what I would do is buy a set of these. This is not doesn't represent a full set, but you could shop online like um, uh, Amazon and see what colors you like and say, um, get them. And, and I've been testing this out and you really, you could make cards without anything but these. This is a, a stamper that you use with the Distressed Ink and they have little interchangeable pads for the colors and like this one would go with that, but you'd have to buy them. You'd have to buy the pads and you'd have to buy the handle. And then the other things you could buy is like these kind of go on your finger. And so you could dot using the Distressed Inks, but say you don't want to buy that. You just want to see if you even like the Distressed Inks. So let's say you get yellow, uh, peacock feathers, and let's get a little orange and just see what we can do. Say you, say you just bought three. The thing you can do with these, um, let's start with the peacock, is you could say this was a card you could just stamp a border using the square and then you could add intermittent orange if you wanted to this would this just looks summer fun uh, it'd be cute with pinks um you could do all kinds of things um and then you could maybe get a little yellow in there too. So you could border the card that way. Another thing you can do is you can just drag along the side and what I'm dragging is the corner and it kind of creates these little darts. If you did that all the way around the card, um, I think it looked like a, a neat boy's card. Um, like kind of like an explosion or bomb. Have their uh, happy birthday there, something like that. And another thing you can do with these is along with stamping at a square, if you take it and you give it a twist, you get a circle. So out of a square, you get a circle. Uh, we made some other cards on another video and we were using the round pads to create the circle. Um, and come to find out, you can actually do this with your little square pads too and just create balloons. You could take a pen and just like draw, draw a little balloon little bow. You could um, add a little bit of artwork in it. Uh, that's just real impromptu, but it's something that you could do. You could just, you could leave it alone. You could turn it into a flower. You could do all kinds of things. And really, you could you could have a really good time just um, with these three little squares. You can make some just really darling little cards. So I hope that helps you, gives you some ideas. Don't spend a lot of money. See if you like it. Test, try it out first. So give it a whirl. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.